Phoenix.com presents The Fairy Tales Retold The Emperor's New Suit by Hans Christian Andersen Retold by Kate Friend Illustrated by Matea Arkova Read by Melissa Silvestro Once upon a time there was an emperor who loved clothes more than anything in the world. He had different clothes for every hour of the day, and all he did was put them on, take them off, and admire them in the mirror. He did not inspect his army, meet with his foreign ministers, or perform any duties of state. Where visitors in some imperial palaces might be told, the emperor is in his council. Visitors to this palace were always told, the emperor is in his dressing room. The emperor's love of clothes was famous throughout the land, and rumor of it spread far and wide. In every royal procession, the townspeople would come out to see what fantastic clothes the emperor had put on for that day. The fashionable elites of the town always wanted to mimic the emperor's style, but there was no way for even the richest of them to keep up with the emperor's ever-changing taste in clothes. Life was especially good for all the weavers and tailors in the town, who were always kept busy making new clothes for the emperor. One day, a pair of swindlers came to town with a magnificent loom and baskets full of the finest yarns, threads, and silks. They said that they were master weavers and had come to show the emperor their wares. Of course, they were nothing of the sort but were petty criminals who had heard of the emperor's obsession with clothes and thought they could make an easy fortune. They said they could weave a fantastic fabric that was beautiful beyond description, but could not be seen by anyone who was a fool or unworthy of his office. The emperor was fascinated by the idea of this fabric. He thought, if I had a suit in this wonderful stuff, I would know if any of my advisors were fools or unworthy of their office. I would be able to surround myself with wise men simply by getting rid of all the ones who couldn't see the fabric. He immediately ordered a suit made out of this marvelous fabric for his next royal parade. The swindlers ordered all the finest silk and thread and asked for exorbitantly high payment for the work they would do, which the emperor agreed to instantly. After a few days, the emperor was curious to know how the fabric was coming along. He sent his most trusted minister to go look at the fabric and to bring word back to him. The minister was curious as well, but on the way, he began to be anxious about whether he would be able to see the fabric. It would be terrible, he thought, if I couldn't see it and therefore found myself out to be a fool or unworthy of my office. When the minister arrived at the workshop, of course he could not see the fabric, but he did not want anyone to know that he was a fool, so he pretended that he could. He marveled at the intricate pattern and the fineness of the work. The swindlers described the colors and pictures woven into the cloth, and he brought back the report to the emperor. A few days later, the emperor sent his most trusted advisor to look at the fabric. This advisor also could not see the cloth, of course, since there was no cloth there to see. But he pretended that he could and marveled just as much as the minister. Then returning to the palace, he did not want to let on to the emperor that he was a fool or unworthy of his post. So he described in great detail the beauty of the fabric that didn't really exist. Finally, the emperor could not contain his curiosity anymore. He decided to go and see the cloth himself. He took the minister and advisor who had already seen the cloth and went to the workshop. When he realized that he could not see the cloth, he was terribly frightened. Is it possible that I am not fit to be emperor, he thought, or am I a fool? I must never let anyone know or I will lose my throne straight away. The minister and advisor, of course, pretended that they could see the fabric and described all its glories with great enthusiasm. 
So the emperor pretended to be delighted with the fabric, and the weavers described the delicate texture of the fine silk they had used to make the fabric. Of course, they had not used any silk at all to make the fabric, and instead had hidden away all the fine materials they were supplied with, along with their payment. The emperor told the swindlers he wanted the suit for his parade the next week, and gave them extra payment to complete the work. A week passed, and the day came for the royal parade. The swindlers came to the palace to dress the emperor in his supposedly magnificent new suit. As they pretended to bring it out, they told him that the fabric was made to be so fine and so light that one could almost not even feel it when it was on. They made a great to-do about draping it over his shoulders, tying it around his waist, and arranging his train. And no one dared to admit that he couldn't see the suit. As the emperor walked in the procession, everyone in the town pretended to be able to see the suit, for the rumor of the fabric's magical properties had spread like wildfire. No one wanted his neighbor to think he was a fool. The crowd oohed and aahed over the suit, until one child, who was too young to yet fear being a fool, shouted, The emperor has no clothes! And from there the whisper spread until even the emperor himself knew that he was walking down the street in his underwear.